what was it like becoming a citizen of the united states like all the shit Man. that goes along with it things that stand out like what is what is the actual process like because i don't think i could be a citizen of my own country just based on uh. the the knowledge that you have to do and i feel like i get fed up with the paperwork immediately and just be like fuck this See, I'll... for me it was his it's been a long process you know because remember i came here when i was eight nine years old mm. and from there up until now it's been a journey you know so where for you you're thinking about it from a short-term perspective but now when you're going through for your whole life and you're taking these steps to be able to get this end goal you know it could be a long drawn out process it isn't like i've been here 20 20 odd years mm -hmm. and i just got my sister last year you know how long did that process take when did you start it so all right i think during obama era they came out with daca that was like that's the dreamer yes dream uh, act dream act okay yes. so if you so, came here with your parents that no i came here as a child uh, as a child okay so my parent my mom was in the citizen when i came here so it's like, okay, you came here with your parents, but it's not your fault because you have no say. You go where your parents go. Mm. You know, so they enacted this so that you can have some kind of access to a regular life. Okay. You know, it's not full access where it's like, hey, here, here you go. You're now a citizen. But it's like, hey, here you go. You can go and get a job. You can provide for yourself, you know. Don't you not saying you have free reign, you could go out there and do whatever the hell you want and, and mess your life up because yeah. that's comes with a whole nother punishment. It's not just oh, you go to jail, it's oh, well, now you go to jail, you go to a country you don't understand, you never, yeah. you didn't grow up in, you know. So, I got that, you know, I was on that for a while. Me and my wife got married, and it's funny because we were married for a while before she filed for me, you know. So she filed for me. I finally got my green card. And was she a citizen here already? Yeah, my, my okay. wife's a citizen. Okay. So, you know. I felt like ice asking that question. I'm like, I just want to make sure everyone's here. <laughs> yeah. Everyone here's like, show me your papers. Yeah. <laughs> no, but um, she filed for me, you know, and I, I had my green card for a while. And then, you know, we finally made the decision to get my citizenship, you know, so. I was lucky because I didn't have to pay for a lawyer because um, I'm in the union and the yeah. union actually helps you through the process. Okay. Which is one thing I'm thankful for. You know, I'm like a lot of people don't have that option. They have to do it all on their own, but we have services in our union to help you through the process. So they got me a lawyer. We filed the papers. You know, it's waiting. You, everything's wait. And it, for me, I'm like, it's a wait, but it's not as long as a wait if I did it um, a different way, you know? Yeah. So, so because your wife is a citizen, mm -hmm. that expedited the process. Yes. Like, we, because we're married and she's a citizen and, you know, we did all the paperwork, the filings yeah. and everything. So that made the process a little bit quicker than if it was a thing of I was just doing it on my own okay you know you still have to do the background checks you still have to you know do all that stuff but again did you so do you have to study and pass the actual yeah. test you, you see for me i grew up here so for me it wasn't it wasn't like it was a test yeah it was just like remembering for the most part. okay because it's all the things that you would learn in school and like at a young age and stuff like that, you know, like states. Bill of Rights, President yeah. States, yes. shit stuff like that. like that, you know. So it was that. And I did study, you know, I don't I'm not going to go into something that important unprepared. So I studied my ass off, bro. Like a lot of it I knew. But if I didn't know something, I made sure I knew it. And I can remember it. my wife yeah. also helped me. You know, she was like, hey, you want me to ask you questions? Like she'll. Throw random stuff out there, like, because yeah. it's random. It's not it's not like it's going to be like, oh, here's 50 questions. You give me the answer to these 50 questions. Like, yeah, someone she's sit like, down you want another you. plate of pasta? Who is the second governor of Arkansas <laughs> Well, ever? I don't think they ask stuff like yeah. that. They, they ask like, okay, oh, man, I just went through this. And it, it's, it's like fresh on the top of my head, but it's like, ah. Uh, 
Second president of the United States. John Adams. I remember that. Uh, what fruit does <laughs> what Florida fruit? look like? <laughs> what fruit? Banana. Um, they're, they're actually, it's, for, for me, it's, it's simple questions, but if you don't, if you didn't grow up here, you probably wouldn't know. It's like, it's so simple that I'm having a hard time even thinking of it. Yeah. It's just it's, like, just random country like why, bullshit. Why are there um, 50 stars on a flag? You know, something th- like that. And they'll it, ask you. Because George Washington was 50 when, <laughs> was 50 when, when he, he took that picture with yeah, the apple okay. <laughs> when he took the picture of the apple tree George Ryan, that's that's the reason why yeah they'll, they'll ask you yeah. little questions like that um you know they'll ask you like wow i can't believe like it's so it's it's I'm gonna send. So I'm gonna send this video to ICE so they can see that you <laughs> hey, haven't look, been studying. You listen, forgot everything, listen, which I also forgot. I'm, I could go outside right now and pull up these questions and ask about five people the same questions. Then uh, some of them might get it, but a lot of people are just like something they don't. They wouldn't even think to know. Like, yeah. why do I need to know that? I mean, you I know? feel like I would get a C on my own country's citizenship test. <laughs> I would. Listen, I hope I would pass, but I'd be like. I, I'm scraping by as a no. knowledge, no, knowledgeable I mean, citizen. You learned all of it in school. Yeah, like it, a lot of people do, like don't pay attention that much in school, which you know, whatever. But it's a lot of stuff that's just like common knowledge to you. Yeah. Um. What in Independence Day? You know, you know when that is. Like that's common knowledge to you. you yeah. Know? But someone that didn't grow up here, July Fourth, baby, hot yeah. dogs, fireworks. <laughs> exactly. You see, you know it. Yeah. So it's like. Right now, if you ran down the question list, I'm pretty sure you'll get a decent amount. Of yeah, them. I feel like I, f- I have faith. You know? Was there any? Was there anything that stood out beyond what you were expecting with the citizenship test? Like something that was so strange or bullshit, where you're like, "Why do I need to do this to be a citizen of the country?" So, like we were just like, "What is? What is the point of this?" Mm, you see. For me, when I sat down with the interviewer, I oh, so they I give you they, they there's a interview person, you yes, first. There's, okay. there's someone sitting in front of you that's Check asking you, you these questions, you know. And I felt like it was going to be this hardcore, like, what is this? Like, just straight. But it was like a regular conversation. Like yeah. I was having a conversation with this person, and I, and I did not expect that. I expected to be like getting grilled. Yeah, and I was just like. Like oh, they were wow. recording a podcast, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> making but, content out of it. Yeah, but it was just like it was like a smooth flowing conversation. Like yeah. they were asking me questions, I was answering them. I was like, okay, and then like me and this person had a little small conversation, and I was just like surprised. So I was like, I was expecting to get like hardcore grilled, and I was just like, oh, you're actually a person. Yeah, you know, you're actually speaking to me. You know, so that was pretty. It was a cool experience. It was. Like I don't want to do it again. But <laughs> what what did it feel like when you finally? What did they do? Man. They stamp it. They give you a passport. What's well, like? What's the like funny, the symbol of becoming a citizen? You get um, a certificate with your name on it. You know? Okay, so and it's like they, winning the spelling bee. Uh, well, something like that. Like, but like a, it's like winning the best spelling bee. Yes, a, 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 a spelling bee. Winning the spelling bee that makes you a citizen yes. of the United States. It, it like gives you that. It's like that final step, like, I made it, you yeah. know? And that's how I felt. I was just like, finally. Yeah. Like a breath of relief, you know? Because trust me, like, I don't think we have enough time to go through all of, like, the feelings I've went through over the years just being a non-citizen, like, yeah. being a non-resident. Like, I've went through all the progressions of from being a non-resident to a resident to a citizen. You know, yeah. so I've been through all of them. So I know what it feels like. And it, you know, it sucks because like I know the feeling and I wish that there was a better way, you know? Oh yeah. I mean I'm I'm going through it right now as a spectator because yeah. my girlfriend is from France. She was born oh, okay. in France. She studied in America, so she had a visa. Yeah. 
and right now she's on a tourist visa and there are all these sort of stipulations where yes. you, you can be in the u.s after you're a student but you can't technically work, work and yes. you can only stay for a certain period of Listen. time and it's like all these things that she constantly has running in the background uh -huh. that she has to take care of and she doesn't want to violate them because in case she becomes a citizen in the future they don't Listen, want to look at her file and been like you know been what's so crazy so this is one of those bullshit stories but yeah when i was younger i had just finished high school and me and one of my friends was like yo let's celebrate let's smoke some weed so rolled a whole blunt sitting on my steps and out of nowhere i see like it was so crazy because there's a coffee shop on the corner of my block and mm. i'm like two houses away from it so work vans pull up all the time they hop out they go to the coffee shop get their food and go so this work van pulls up and i think nothing of it because i'm it's the coffee shop everybody goes to a coffee yeah. shop to get food they have the pop and it's food so <laughs> they do yeah look that place is amazing but anyway so these dudes jump out and they walk up and they're like hey can i ask you a question so i didn't think anything of it and this is after you smoked, so you weren't No, no, no. I didn't smoke it. I just oh, finished rolling okay. up, and I just rolling. gave the rest of my friend, like, hey, bring this in the house. Ah, okay. Boom. So now I'm there by myself, and these guys walk up, open my... They're like, hey, can I ask you a question? I'm like, hey, what's up? So they open the gate and then pull out a badge. So police officers or police, ICE or what were they? It, it was um, detectives. Okay. And because it, it's so funny, like, I figured this out a while after, but... The narcotics unit was a few blocks up from my house. <laughs> oh, okay. So they were, I guess they were just roll, driving around and I'm there rolling the blood. Not thinking of nothing of it because I did it all the time. It was a, a regular thing. That's so but, weird that they would give a shit about just kids smoking weed. You here's the here's the kicker. So they they asked me, like, hey, can we ask you a question? Hop out, show me the badge, whatever, blah, blah, blah. Then the cop turns to me and asks me, Hey, you ever been arrested before? never been arrested so i'm like nah never been arrested he's like oh that sucks i gotta take you in like what do you mean i'm like for what because now i'm playing the dumb card like for what what are you talking about he's like yeah bro i just watched you rolling up like when i was driving by i'm like what rolling up what so now at this point i had it in my hand and i'm like all right so when he got close to me i dropped it by his foot he didn't see it he didn't see it he's checking me mm -hmm. i'm like i don't got nothing what are you talking about he's like where'd you put it where'd you put it i'm like what are you talking about and now, I guess his partner steps back now and sees it by his foot. Like, I don't know how it happened. Like, it was just so quick. But now he's like, oh, so what's this? And I'm like, like, man, whatever. So now they locked me up. It was on some bullshit. They locked like, you up? Yeah. For they, smoking and the not craziest, even smoking it. Not even smoking it, yeah. it. Just having it. You know, possession or whatever. You know, that was a big thing. Possession, blah, blah, blah. So now, years go by, you know, this is on your record now. Because once you get locked up, it's on your record or whatever. So I'm going through the whole immigration process now, and now I have to go get a disposition. Every time I need to go to hand in paperwork or anything like that, I have to go get this disposition over this bullshit charge. And that was almost the thing that stopped me from becoming a citizen. Really? Just because you bullshit. got a bullshit arrest from when you were 13 and or whatever? This is, and this is what I mean. Like, You have to be so careful when you're not a citizen. Like, You have to make good choices you know because the simplest little thing where you might think like hey it's nothing like i just got oh i got into a bar fight and i got locked up oh it's nothing it happens all the time yeah it happens all the time for citizens but yeah. you're not a citizen and hey guys this is a quick reminder to check out auxoro premium the best deal in premium podcasting on auxoro premium you gain access to bonus episodes the unlicensed therapy series the ability to submit topic suggestions for the podcast, exclusive Ask Me Anything episodes, and the entire premium catalog for only five bucks per month. Go to auxoro.supercast.com, that's A-U-X-O-R-O.supercast.com to join the premium gang today.